News 5 at 5 continues now. And now at 5.30, News 5 recently covered a 23-year-old cold case, the murder of Regina Rowe Hicks, a mother who was found dead inside of her car in a pond in Huron County. Regina's family says that they have been contacted by officials saying that they were actively working on the case. And digging for clues, News 5's Maya Lockett reports on their efforts to find evidence that could be connected to Regina's death. The search continues for answers in the murder of Regina Rowe Hicks. Regina's body was found in the passenger seat of her car in a pond near Town Line Road 12 and Section Line Road 30 in Huron County. The autopsy showed bruising on her head and authorities didn't think it was an accident and opened a murder investigation. But with no leads, the case went cold. Her laugh. Two weeks ago, News 5 spoke with the family about their 23-year search for answers and justice. It was hard on everybody, but it really hurt my, my mom the, like real bad. Because A few weeks later, Regina's brother Chad Rowe told News 5 he was contacted by officials saying they had been interviewing people and they were preparing to dig on land where Regina lived with her ex-husband. I told him. Yeah, if you can find anything to give closure to this, it's worth it. Today, I spoke with the current property owner where Regina and her ex-husband's former home once stood before it burned down six months before her death in 2001. The property owner and former neighbor of the couple did not want to give her name or go on camera, but she was eager to share that the Bureau of Criminal Investigation visited her home asking for permission to dig Tuesday morning because they were looking for evidence. A barrel is what they said. So I, I hope it's found. I hope it's found and shed some light. Maybe it'll answer everything. Maybe it has nothing to do with it. Neighbors shared these photos of BCI officers digging. She says seeing officials search for clues on the land Regina formerly lived on brings back happier memories. You've seen her playing with her kid, um, doing the family thing, like outside, normal every day, and to think somebody took that. that that's just wrong. And now she is stuck with the reminder of her death every day. Directly from where I'm standing, if you look ahead, four rows back is Regina's grave. It's eerie to think that I, you, you, you've seen her playing with her baby here, and now you're looking at a tombstone. Regina is buried at the Greenwood Cemetery directly across the street from her old homestead, and her neighbors say they are ready for justice. Their family is such good people that, need, that just needs to be solved for them, for, for them to get closure. And find out who killed Regina. It is unclear when BCI will return to continue their search. I did reach out to BCI for any information regarding the case. They said they did not have any information to share at this time. Maya Lockett, News 5. And she, of course, will be keeping us updated. Thanks, Maya.